we want to say that our new government, the Ruto administration, in our Kenya Kwanza plan, undertook to facilitate and support an independent judiciary. On the day President William Ruto was sworn in on the 15th of September, two hours after being sworn in, he appointed the judges who had been denied a chance to serve because of parochial political interests. And the following day, they were sworn into office, and we are happy that those judges now have joined the other judges to expedite and dispense justice to the people of Kenya. Immediately the president was sworn in, he gave an executive order for the operation to operationalize the financial autonomy of the judiciary, to give the judiciary financial autonomy so that you are free to dispense justice without being um, twisted by any other for, uh, uh, arm of government. Again, the president and his new government committed to review the budgetary allocation to the judiciary by giving the judiciary an extra two billion shillings every financial year for the next five years. The purpose of that decision is to make sure that you are able to build more courts, employ more judges, more magistrates to expedite and finalize the backlog of cases that are pending. Justice delayed is justice denied. So as a government, we have every intention to make sure that the judiciary is allowed to work and work efficiently. You are all aware that after we made that decision to increase the budgetary allocation to the judiciary, to appoint the judges, to swear them in, to appear in such forums where we invite us, we have been accused of trying to capture the judiciary. I don't think anybody can capture the judiciary. If the judiciary had been captured or it was possible to capture the judiciary, William Ruto will not be the president of the Republic of Kenya. It is not possible. Ours is to support independent institutions the judiciary being one of the most important institutions. And we shall continue to do so. And we find it inimical. We find it something that we can't understand how people who profess their respect for the rule of law and supporting independent institutions would have a problem with the government giving more money to the judiciary so that it can assert its independence. We don't understand. And we want to say we'll continue to do so. Finally, on large matters, I ask you good people, our judges and magistrates, please try to expedite the success succession cases pending before you have tied billions of shillings that we need for our economy. Our economy is struggling, and this money we needed to be freed by resolving the various disputes so that this money can circulate in the economy. Again, I want to ask the people of Kenya, when people have found themselves with the challenges before courts on criminal matters, and they place cash bills because of the urgency of the matter so that they don't spend time in remand prison. There exists an opportunity for you to go back to court and substitute the cash bill with a title D or a logbook so that we can free that money to the economy. And we ask people who have pending matters, 
where they have put cash bail. Once they have gone home and they have settled to look for substitute securities. And we ask our judges and our magistrates to exercise to exercise fairness and see how they can facilitate the substitution of cash bill to other forms of security so that we can free this money to the economy that we need. I want to say that our government will continue to support independent institutions. I want to give another taking to the people of Kenya. President William Ruto and I and the rest of us, none of us will ever pick a telephone or someone a judge or a magistrate and ask for them to rule in a matter one way or another. We must leave that to the courts. We also want to confirm that in our administration we have no intention ever to weaponize the criminal justice system to settle politics. Politics we shall manage ourselves. We want the criminal justice system to exercise judicial independence and deliver justice to the people of Kenya. And our government will not attempt to use the criminal justice system to deal with its critics and those who may have different opinion from what we have. That is the undertaking that we want to give. Finally, we want to ask the people of Kenya to try to explore alternative dispute resolution mechanisms before they go before the environment and land courts. Courts are very expensive and time consuming. Many matters, if the litigants take time to talk to each other, to reach out to each other, 80% of matters before you are caught will never reach there. Let us attempt other alternative methods of resolving the disputes before we go to court. Because courts are time consuming and they are expensive. And if we do that as a people, we'll live in an ordinary society. Kwa hivyo mimi na shukuru sana governor wetu Najua umetualika tukae hapa kilivi lakini tunatakana Nairobi kazi ni mingi Tutarudi hapa kuja kupumzika si Christmas iko karibu Tutarudi hapa kupumzika tumefraia sana kwa kutualika And our judges I want to assure you When you call us we'll come And we are not embarrassed to be associated with you Because you are doing a good job for the people of this country President William President William Ruto and I are beneficiaries of independent institutions. So, mukiduita tunakimbia. Because we are beneficiaries. We want systems that are working. And we are benefited from independent institutions that have refused to be untwisted and be coerced. The IBC, the Supreme Court of Kenya, those are good institutions. And as we are happy, because if they had agreed to be untwisted, I will not be here today. So, when you call us to grace your occasions, we will come running. Because we want to be associated with the good institutions. Because they are good for the country. Kwa hivyo kwa hayo mengi, asanteni sana, mungu wa bariki, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy 2023. Asanteni sana.